Well, good morning, guys. We're getting going on silage here. Buck's already... Yeah, he's out in the field still. But I think Buck's going to be running the 1086 all day. He's going to be chopping. I'm going to be getting the wagon loads for him and then unloading them. And we're going to knock this out quick. Now that we got a lot of horsepower on that chopper, actually, that 1086. And then we're... So Chaff is going in the silo. And then we're making feed, like right now. TMR, we're almost pretty much full of TMR. So, heck, I need to probably start feeding the cows. All right, what do you want? It probably feels pretty nice having some red power on there. You got some real horse now. I still like my 5020 doing the job. 5020, man, she doesn't put out enough ponies. Nah, eh, I'm still, it, it's just tradition, man. We've, been, we've always been a green farm. True, Here. true, true. But we're rolling a little faster now. Hold on. Yeah. How full are you? Uh, by the looks of it here, that doesn't look like as much past that heap, so probably maybe 30-ish, 25, I don't know, somewhere around there. Okay, you should be able to do another lap around the headland. Uh, probably. You if you dump it kind of, well, dump it kind of right here by the bin site, I'll hook onto it and keep unloading it. We should be able to roll like that. Okay. Just, wait, don't we have, a, we have a secondary wagon, don't we, or we just have one? The neighbor, he <laughs> actually has one. He had two of them, and he was like, do you need both? And I was like, well, it's going to be just me. But, heck, now that we got you, we could run two of them. Yeah, it'd be just another 10 bucks oh, a day he charges well, for well, renting them. That. So I'll just kind of, I'll try and get a hold of him somehow. I'll, do you want me to go pick it up? Yeah, if you could. Oh, yeah. All right, what's the verdict? You get the other forage wagon? This is the other forage wagon. I've been waiting on you to pick up the other one. Oh. Oh, I'll run and pick it up quick. <laughs> yeah, I just use my truck. My truck's got that pin hitch in it right now. It's got a topper, though. I don't know, man. It's got the pin hitch. You don't need to do anything with it. <laughs> it tows okay. the trailer. I know, I know. Okay. <laughs> How are you going to tow it with a ball hitch, man? Okay. okay. Keep, it under, keep it under 120, right? RPM? <laughs> oh, Buck's truck. He hasn't let me drive this thing yet. There's probably a good reason, though. Well, we're going to see if this... Come on. You ever... Well, I thought Buck meant the uh, forge wagon was still at the neighbor's. He actually went and got it here. Could have just used a tractor, but we'll move the tractor out of the way here. Well, we'll put it right there. Pull the bin, and if we can scooch around here, try and get this international around here. We'll unload the chaff. We go, chaff's going in there, it should be going the harvester. And if we look here, chaff's at 79,199. And why is it not going up? Oh, it's because, oh, I didn't have the tractor running. We filled it and we didn't have the tractor running, okay. There we go. Yeah. Now it's going. Beginner mistake. With the amount of chaff we're going to have, though, we could, and especially the amount of hay, like, we are going to have feed for days. So what we could do, maybe, if we have the capital, is expand our herd even more here. It's getting pretty big, but we could keep, keep it rolling here. Well, that is empty. We're going to run this out to the field. Buck's probably cursing me out right now in the tractor, waiting for the empty one. There he goes. Looks like he's rolling along pretty good there. We'll drop the empty one on the edge of the field here. And he should... Well, I don't know if Buck has the skills to back up to it. He, he should be able to. We've seen his backing skills, though. Oh, God, I don't know. He's still rolling. I thought he'd be full by now. That should be some good yielding corn through there. Here, I'll give him a hand signal. Is he full? Thumbs up or no? What's he doing there? Oh, he just gave me the bird. Okay. Okay. I see how it is, Buck. I was just trying to hand signal to him like, thumbs up, are you good? And then he just flicks me off. There we go. We're filling with TMR. Come eat, boys. Well, Buck's got a full load for me, it looks like. He switched out the wagons. 
We're gonna empty this one. Heck, he actually did that pretty quick. I thought he was gonna need my help backing up. Oh yeah, she is full too. Back up, get the pin. There we go, PTO's in. Let's roll. Pull up here, get her lined up. There we go. We'll let that unload. I, Well, I should probably be watching that, but we're going to go check out, see what Buck's doing. Looks like he's cutting pretty quick there. Holy crap! He's going like 10 mile an hour. Well, that IH really has some guts then. How fast were you going? 10? 11? I was pushing at least 11. I was seeing what this thing could do. She's got some guts, uh, don't she? Yeah, but I wouldn't recommend going over at least six or seven. Definitely not seven. Ah. I just wanted to see what the balls this thing had going underneath the hood. Yeah. It's pretty good. Well, we better check in, make sure that chopper's not overfilling or something. And it's empty. Yeah, I should have asked Buck while I was talking to him, but I don't think he's, he might not need another one. He might be able to fit it all in that one. We'll see though. Heck, you know what we could do is we could start running on some tillage here. Get some manure. Yeah, we could get some manure spread. I didn't even think about that. Might not be a bad idea to start spreading some manure. I'll get the manure spreader greased and we can start putting manure on this. We can start running tillage on this. Yeah, that way we get this knocked out before harvest starts. Well, I don't have another tractor right now. I'll probably get the 50-20 out and we maybe we'll put that on the manure spreader. I'm going to run down and uh, you got 50-20 still in your shed, right? Yeah, shed should be unlocked. Why? Okay, I'm gonna put that on the manure spreader so I can get started on manure here. Well, that'll be a crappy job, but okay. Well, this is Buck's place. Oh, he left his lawnmower out too. Oh, it looks like his wife Janet's inside. Hey, Janet! Hey, Grant! Oh, no. Oh, no. It's Buck's beauty. Whew. Wow. It's been a while since I've drove this. My gosh, she's clean. Come on. Keep her in the, between the line. Well, that was fun. We'll get the 5020 fired up. Buck's got the butte out. Fair enough. I took his charger out. He gets to take my truck out. Now that is a good looking vehicle. those keys stay in the car that was a bad idea yeah at least I got this umbrella over my head that went crap sling all over me well it landed on me at least yes for those of you guys who didn't think we who thought we sold the 5020 we still have it around it's just it sits at buck shed just because we're we're out of shed space most of the time what we're finding too with corn on corn because we just did corn silage after corn silage is this corn takes a lot of fertility and so throwing back all this manure on the field helps a ton then we deep rip it to kind of bury it mix it in works a lot and then plus we don't have much residue out there so planting it in the spring doesn't tie up too much uh too much carbon too so we're this is working good for corn on corn if we throw a lot of manure on it Let's see if we can fit through these gates here i guess i didn't think this would be an issue the 5020. Oh, we're good. Well, we'll park her right there. Now I need to get I need to get my loader tractor off here, but we got a little more silage. Buck's just finishing up. Once we get the silage all blown in there, we can get my loader tractor off, and then put the bucket on and. Uh, one of us could be loading manure, one of us could be uh, spreading it. And that is a wrap. We are done with silage for uh, season 78. Buck should drop his wagon somewhere back there. And then we'll drop, well, we gotta run these to the neighbors, back to the neighbors. Hey Buck, you wanna hook onto that wagon and then start taking it back to the neighbors? I mean, I can, but let me just take off this chopper. Well, we gotta take the chopper back too, though. Chopper, oh, sorry, chopper isn't ours. Yeah, wish I could afford it. Looks like Buck's taking off down to the neighbors. We're gonna have a ton of chaff. Like, we should probably get some more cattle 
Oh, as we're never gonna go through all this feed, which is it's a good problem to have. It really is. We're gonna head on down to the road to the neighbors and drop off this, and we should be returned. I bet you we'll see Buck coming. Yep, there he is. Give him the bird before he can give you the bird. Ah, got him. Oh, come on, you don't want a shower? I, I, I'm good. I parked so you could load on the other side. Yeah, well, I'm stupid. <laughs> I can move, too. No, I got it. Looks like some good P and K right there. Good to go? Good be. Okay. Oh, this is going to be a fun time. Well, we're going to start by making a pass right down the middle. I'd rather try and get this stuff in the middle of the field here. And then we'll work it in on the sides, or we'll put extra P and K or nitrogen in the sides if we need to. We'll unfold it, run the hydraulic, turn it on. There we go, we're going. We are going. Well, we got all this spread. We didn't get much. Like, we had a lot of manure there, and it just spreads quick. I don't know what it is about this, but we got not even two passes done. And it's all gone. Buck ran the rest of it out. We're kind of in a pooey situation. We ran out of poo. I thought we were going to get more, too. We didn't even get much. <laughs> we need to feed these cows some more laxatives or something. You love the, You let me know how that one goes. <laughs> You're washing the tires off. Well, we're going to get disking this stuff up. We'll drop the disc down and get going here. We should really deep rip it, but uh, we did it last year. I don't think we need to do it this year. You would think you'd need duels on this tractor, but it's actually pulling it. We're not slipping too bad, even with this disc behind me here. It's, uh, it's doing pretty good. Now, usually most years, once we got done with silage, we'd start on beans and just start harvesting beans, but actually right now the uh the beans aren't even ready so it's like okay well we got this field done we might as well start on full tillage here knock out this and get it ready for spring and i think buck's uh doing a little cultivating of those beans there's a couple of weeds he sell out there he's gonna clean up that field a little bit that's chet's field we we like to take good care of chet's field over there Take me back, take me back to the old dirt road Where mama and papa used to go Let's sing all them songs from a long time ago And pine for them old days of yore what Well, that is all dissed up over there. It's all ready for spring. We could probably just plant right into that too. We'll see here though. But seriously guys, thanks for watching this one. You just enjoying the tractor up there, Buck? Yeah, take him to nap. Yeah. Got him sleeping. <sighs> but anyways guys, thanks for watching this one and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks guys.